As worship leaders, we know that a great set begins with a thoughtful set list. It's often our job to tie in themes from a message into the songs that we play during a service. And on top of that, it's our responsibility to make sure that our worship team shows up ready to play those songs. In this video, let's explore how we create a thoughtful set list using our website and at the same time with rehearsal mitts, ensuring that our teams are set up for success. To create a set list, you need to be an organization admin, campus admin, or team leader in your multitracks.com organization. Contact an admin in your organization about changing your role on the people page to give your account permission. To create a set list, go to the account in the top right hand corner of the page and click set list. This page is an overview of all of the set lists you're invited to in your organization. If you know the set list you're building is similar to the one you've already created, a cool shortcut is to duplicate that set list and make edits to the copy. You can do that by clicking on the more menu and hitting the duplicate set list button. If you want to create a brand new set list, click new set list. This will give you a screen where you can name the set list and add important information that will be available to your team on the website in playback and in chart builder. This action will open your empty set list. So let's add in some songs. First, I know that I want to play it as well. So I will search it is well and I'm going to play the Austin Stone worship version in the key of D. Second, I'm going to browse my library and remind myself of what songs we play often and what resources we have. I'm going to add in my testimony. After going through this process, creating your perfect set list, you can then invite your team to view it. Go to the more menu in the top right hand corner and hit add people. Here you'll see a list of your whole organization and you can add specific members who will be playing in this service. The next step is very important, so don't miss this. Save your setlist to the cloud. Saving your setlist to the cloud will make the changes that you just made available to anyone who can access this setlist. When you make changes later, you can also leave comments on what has changed to make sure that your team is always up to date. You can also email your team to let them know their setlist is ready for this week. Go to the more menu again in the top right hand corner and select notify team. This will let you attach a message and email your team directly, and this will even give them a link back to listen to this set list in Rehearsal Mix. Once you're ready to rehearse, go to the tab on the left side and click Rehearsal Mix. This will give you a list of set lists. Select the set list you've been working on and you'll see that it should reflect all of the changes you made earlier. Each song has a drop down arrow that will expand all of your listening options. I'm gonna select Piano, and listen along to the original master recording with the click and the guide already built in. And when I'm ready, I can simply move on to the next song. And that really is how easy it is to create thoughtful set lists on multitracks.com.